Here at Beard tonight, we know that a lot of people have midterms coming up in all sorts of subjects. And we know that a lot of people use different devices to remember it, such as songs or, you know, anything they want. And uh, so here at Beard tonight, we're trying to use, trying to teach you what we do when we try to remember things. And puppetry is usually how we do it. So tonight's presentation on puppet theater, how Truman decided to drop the bomb on Nagasaki. Let's tune in. <laughs> Mr. President, we need a decision. An invasion of Japan could cost us thousands of American lives. Japan will fight it to the last man. Well, Mr. Secretary, my concern- Damn it, Mr. President! We need a decision, now! Okay, I just need time to think. <laughs> Truman, <laughs> Truman. Oh my God, former President Franklin D. Roosevelt, I thought you were dead. I am dead. You mean you're a g g g g ghost <laughs> Don't worry, Harry. I'm here to help you. Wait, you can't walk in heaven either? Yeah, I know. I was pretty pissed about that, too. But, <laughs> but that's not the important thing. I know you think you're at an impasse and you need to unleash the atomic bomb, but I've been working on it. And simultaneous amphibious assaults on Tokyo, Kyoto, Nagasaki, and Kobe will stretch the Japanese military to the breaking point, and we can take the country in a matter of weeks. Is there a bathroom around here? Wait! Truman! Who are you? I'm the ghost of the 15th President of the United States, James Buchanan! Hey, FDR. What's up, Buchanan? What should I do, President Buchanan? I think if we just talk to the Japanese, we can come with some sort of agreement. Senator Calhoun and I have been working on a grand compromise that will keep the Union together. Wait, and if wait a minute. Didn't the Union dissolve under your inept leadership? Well, that's debatable, but... <laughs> Truman! Who are you? I'm Chester A. Arthur, the 21st President of the United States of America. Really? <laughs> yes. Yes, really. Between 1881 and 1885. Really? Hey, I'm more President Buchanan. Hey, hey, try this out. All the presidents who uh, presided over an administration that didn't lead to the demise of the U.S. political landscape, raise your hand. <laughs> Buchanan, put your hand down. What should I do, Arthur? How can I stop the war with the Japanese? You can defeat the Japs by growing a thick moustache. <laughs> but, but how would that help? Well, it couldn't hurt. Truman. Ghost of 90s alternative music icon Kurt Cobain. That's right, Truman. I'm here to tell you that you need to stay true to yourself in the music, man. Don't let these advisors change who you are. But Kurt, I don't know if the atomic bomb is the right decision. Look, look, there were times when Dave Grohl tried to convince me to change my songs, but I stayed true to myself and I never regretted it. Well, until I overdosed and then shot myself. <laughs> Does anyone have any lewds? I might have some painkillers. <laughs> You're right, Kurt Cobain. I should drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Sweet. Anyone want to jam? I play the harpsichord. And that's how it happened. That's how Truman decided to drop the bomb. All because of Kurt Cobain. <laughs> what would have Eddie Vedder done? Who knows? Pearl Jam reference. Nothing? Nothing? All right, we're going to go to commercial. 